Well, let's start adding a little bit of 540 nanometer light. You'll see that in the overlap, as we noticed before, the light gets brighter. But the wonderful magic of additive mixing is that it also changes hue. In color science, there's an important concept, dominant wavelength. A spectrum's dominant wavelength isn't where the highest spike of photons is in its spectrum. It's more like an overall average of what wavelength imbalance we're detecting. So when I add 540 nanometer light, I'm shifting the average wavelength of the spectrum away from 450 nanometers. And more to the point, I'm shifting the balance of how my eye sensors are being stimulated. My M cone gets more involved, so the hue I experience shifts toward cyan. Let's gradually remove blue now. What's going to happen in my eye? The S cones are having less and less of an influence on the perception of the center area, since there are less and less photons for the S cone to pick up. So the imbalance of stimulation is going to favor the M cone more and more until the hue I experience in the middle shifts away from cyan toward green. 